Ministry of Education, Youth and Information has one of the biggest budgets for this fiscal year. $90.5 billion alone for housekeeping expenses. Government also set aside $1.23 billion for capital projects and will be receiving $1.39 billion from more multilateral and bilateral partners. The ministry will be using the combined allocation of approximately $93 billion to execute programs in support of further developing our education system, creating greater opportunities for youth, and ensuring the dissemination and preservation of public information. Much of the ministry's budget will go towards taking care of regular education expenses including the smooth delivery of services at the various levels of the education system. Meanwhile, $1.1 billion has been set aside for special education as the government continues to attend to the needs of our special needs students. The ministry also continues to give priority to the nutrition of our students with $3.4 billion allocated to the school feeding program. It will ensure that each student gets at least one meal per day, in addition to the regular snacks from Nutrition Products Limited. Projects to increase infant school spaces and additional classrooms at the secondary level, as well as a solar project to reduce electricity bills in schools, are among the capital projects being financed from the Consolidation Fund this year. Money from Jamaica's multilateral and bilateral partners will fund other development projects, including the University of Technology Enhancement Project, which is getting $626 million from the Caribbean Development Bank, the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, and the Inter-American Development Bank, meanwhile, are providing $517 million for the Education System Transformation Program. With the youth portfolio now joined again with the Education Ministry, adequate allocation has been put forward to ensure our young people achieve their potential. Included in the budget is $475 million for youth training opportunities. $141 million will also be given to youth development, which includes revamping the youth information centers and providing grants to youth organizations. And as our leaders ensure the protection and safeguarding of our children, $97 million has been allocated to family services or children's services to cover things like the Ananda Alert Missing Children Intervention. Meanwhile, a separate $2.1 billion has been given to the Child Development Agency to take care of the needs of children in state care. On the information side of things, the Jamaica Archives and Records Department and the Government Records Center will receive $110 million for the preservation of official and other permanent records. $214 million has also been allocated for information on the public sector, including the operating expenses of the Public Broadcasting Corporation of Jamaica.